Hello guys and welcome to another video about the Valcata deconstruction mix um, on the song 321. Uh, today, as we've seen in the previous videos, we've seen the drums, the bass, the guitars and the strings. And today we're going to see the electronic elements of this song and how we've worked with those and what kind of processing we've done, if we've done any processing and uh, we'll go through those steps. So these are the electronic elements. So we've done some dirty synth, snare, piano, clean synth, buzzing, pads, choirs, riffs, leads, uh, this kind of pepper thing and the techno. Um, these are uh, the names I'm putting on sometimes to just to identify the sounds. Uh, so let's go to my, let's, um, let's go to my mixer. Um, I'm gonna go through the processing first. Uh, no, let's listen. Let's listen to the samples as they are uh, in here. So the song so starts with this. And then drums are playing here and then they come all together. Quite interesting part over here, uh, the chill pads. Listen to the clean synth for a second. This is the techno sound that just came in. And in combination with the clean synth. And again, it comes with a choir and the lead on that point. Dirty sound from the intro over here. And again, at the middle end. chill pad obviously the snare is very audible from its own and the clean synth at the end it's like this along with the techno and the uh, lead Wow. Wow. So this is an excellent work, I think. Uh, I don't play keys, but I admire the guys and the people uh, who do play keys. 
Um, so this is all done by, um, as I said in my previous video, this is all done by the main composer and the mastermind of the album, Volkata, so the Oha Kade, um, who had was the, the, the main brains behind this concept. Um, kudos to Oha. Uh, so let's see what is uh, the the what has been done behind the uh, keys. Uh, what I've done with this one, and again, uh, this has been done not individually, but in the context with all the songs, uh, sorry, all the uh, recordings. Um, uh, when, I, when I'm listening to something, I sometimes solo it, and uh, just I'm just looking for a detail or something that really bothers me. Uh, but always mixing the uh, the individual recordings, the individual individual stems with all the instruments, like mixing the song, because it's just a matter of uh, balance, frequencies. Um, so you can't actually mix one by one and expect to sound great. Okay, uh, because all all these synthesizers are synth songs. Sorry. Synthesizer sounds are um, were sounding very good. Uh, I just decided to just give them a bit of warmth, a bit of presence, uh, and I really like that sound that the bomber gives. Okay, I don't know what kind of magic uh, it's it's going on behind this great outlook, uh, that great three four no. Uh, kind of tool but this thing does the magic and when I'm saying that um, I had this conversation with the guys from um, Slate uh, forum on Facebook but uh, whoever is using that tool they actually love it uh, I'm really um, I'm loving it more and more and more every time I'm using it because I always discover more about these um, <clears throat> sorry about this um, this tool and what is able to do and is very uh, versatile so you can use it on on vocals on drums on drum basses on on your master bass on your guitars sometimes i've used it on the guitars on some other tool on some other videos and i really loved it and that was the first time i've used it on on, on synths and believe me actually you'll listen to it now it does some wonders so let's see uh, if I remove the processing, so I've, uh, what I've done now is I've used the uh, VMR, VCC, and Bomber, and I've done the same uh, here on the uh, keys. I've done the uh, Verb Suite Classics, and I've used the Epic Synth Space as a nice preset, uh, which I really love it for keys. And this is actually in minus six. Um, all some of, uh, more of my uh, most of my uh, reverbs are in minus 12 some are minus 9 uh, so my keys are minus 6 because I wanted to be more um, open give them more space so let's listen how it sounds like with no processing uh, let's remove the processing and let's listen how it sounds like um So this is the original one. I'll enable the VMR with a bomber. So just a slight, like slightly, it does something slight. You can barely listen to it. Uh, I can listen to my headphones, um, and I really like it. So the thing with this bomber thing is that. Your sound has to be at zero where the bomb is, and this is where you actually can feel or listen to the effect. Okay, so if you go above that or below that, you probably won't be able to listen a uh, shit. All right, so sorry about that. Maybe you won't be able to listen nothing. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, let's enable the um, reverb. So you listen to that tail, yeah. It sounds like a big boat approaching the uh, the dock, right? Yeah, that's was this is what I was going forward with this. So my snare over here sounds a bit spacey and 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 it's a very weird sound snare. But again, it's a synth snare that um, 
uh, really follows the normal sample and um, acoustic snare from the drums. Uh, let's listen, where is it? It's somewhere here. Without the processing. Again, it's very metallic snare. It's a very synthesizer snare thing that we you can listen to any synth. Very metallic. So I just used the space uh, from the reverb to make it more spacey metallic thing and give it more. I just used the same um, chain from my previous one. Um, just give more presence, slightly more present. Okay, so this is actually does the trick. Uh, because I have the trigger, I have the snare top and bottom from the acoustic set, so I just don't want more snare to it. It's just give in the mix. It's just applying what is missing from the rest of it. So it's just, just nice. Um, let's listen to the piano. Again, the sound from the piano is processed from the synth. Uh, what I've done is just using the bomber to just give it a bit more presence to fit nicely in my mix. So this is what I was looking for. I think sounds good as it was before. Uh, didn't want to do much with it. Uh, just really liked it. Um, and the clean synth. Let's listen where, where the clean synth is. There, there, there it is. Okay. So let's listen if I if I'm going to push more the intensity let's listen how it sounds like Okay And without So it has a nice tail on its own, but it's a bit um, short. Uh, what I've done with the key, with the with the reverb, I just added a bit more tail to it, so just to um, complement the rest of the um, the rest of the synths, uh, the synth recordings that I have in my mix. So everybody goes to all the all the um, synths. Uh, they're coming on the same reverb have the same characteristics and hopefully uh, they sound good so let's go to the buzz I'm not expecting much from my buzz it's just a normal let me uh, oh there's a buzz uh, it's required anyway this is just it yeah it's just a noise tone So we've just added the reverb and just the normal again. I could push it a bit. I didn't like it. I, I've 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 um, I've tested it before. So listen. But in the mix, it doesn't really sound well. It doesn't sound good, or to me, it didn't sound good. So I just left it like this, um, and I moved on to my chill pads, which are actually here. So same processing again, and the reverb. Nice tail, that reverb is fantastic. I'm telling you that 2016 FG 2016 room reverb is fantastic. 
uh, has a 2.6 uh, seconds um, decay and it is large, is very good. And again, the choir, uh, where is it? There it is, over here. Let's go back a bit. Again, nice, very good synth uh, choir. Uh, it's processed anyway. I'm not, I didn't want to do much. So I've used my VCC in the FG Bomber to give it a bit of presence. So all my synths have been processed with the FG Bomber or for, for that magical presence that these two knobs can give to your recordings. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I really love it. Um, and again, we're going to the riffs. Let me find the riffs. Where are the riffs? Riffs, riffs, riffs. There they are. Okay, so let's listen to it. Can you listen to that? That's fantastic. Ah, oh, it's 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 very normal, very dull. But if you put it on the FG two thousand sixteen. This is how it sounds like. Yes. Verbsuit Classic, guys. Amazing collection of reverbs. Never disappoints. And lead. Let me find my leads. There they are. Leads. I really love that lead sound. But... I can make it slightly better with that FG 2016 over here. That tail. That space gives a bit more um, nice um, acoustic. Uh, I don't know. It sounds a bit more nice. Um, pepper. I don't know why I mentioned it. Pepper. I think Oha did. Or I did. I think that name came from Oha. Oha, why did you, did you, did you do that, man? Ah, yeah, probably because it's like... Yeah, Pepper. Very nice sound, very interesting sound. I don't know how this guy came up with this, but it it, it it's really funny, the way it sounds on its own, but it really... Uh, it it really um, I can't find the word. It's it sounds very nice in the mix. Go, got it. That was it. Yeah. So let's listen without. <laughs> very nice. And in, with the reverb, it sounds more spacey. And this is, I think, what Oha was looking for, because all this all, all this Volcata, um um, album is a concept about the space and the planet and aliens so I think that is the sound he was looking for and I'm very I'm very happy that we found out uh, and I was always able to help him and 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 follow his um, and follow his dream and apply all his ideas to the mix that was amazing collaboration thanks for um, working with me Rob uh, Oha sorry <laughs> And this is the normal techno sound you can expect from a synthesizer, but we made it a bit more um, open and spacey using the reverb and the FG bomb uh, bomber. Uh, yeah, so that was it actually. And um, uh, as you expect, all my sounds they're going through the um, a bus um, called Electronics and JST Clip. No EQ in this point um, because all the sounds are processed. Anyway, so I didn't find a reason to just use another uh, process uh, for for these um, electronics uh, or synthesizer sounds. Um, 